Okay, we're here live for day two of Big Data Week here in New York City. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. This is Strata Plus Hadoop World. This is the, the groundbreaking event that we were here three years ago. This is now in our third Cube, fourth year, and this is a show. Started as a small little group of Hadoop interested folks. Now it's a full-on industry. This is Silicon Angle TV's exclusive coverage of Strata Plus Hadoop World. I'm John Furrier, founder of Silicon Angle. I'm joined this week with my co-host, as usual, Dave Vellante, the founder of Wikibon.org. SiliconAngle.com is the reference point for tech innovation. Go there, check out all the latest stories. Go to Wikibon.org and get free research, research analyst firm, and it's all great stuff. Known in the industry as being number one in big data. Um, we love big data. Dave, welcome to day two. We are ready to rock and roll. Yeah, John, excited for day two. We got some <laughs> terrific guests. Our good friend Avi Met is coming on. We've got you know, the regular lineup of practitioners and innovators, and we're going to be running the table as we always do. And uh, you know, I wanted to mention to people, uh, you talked about wikibon.org. Go to wikibon.org slash big data. It's a place where we keep a compendium of a lot of the research that we've done. Uh, the big data manifesto that Jeff Kelly did, the uh, market forecast and, and sizing uh, effort that Jeff did, which he's in the process of updating, and lots of other great videos and, and other resources there. It's all free, go check it out. Uh, really appreciate your contributions. Hit edit, and post a, a piece if you like, and give us your thoughts. We would not be here if it wasn't for our generous support for our underwriters and our sponsors that allow us to do our most excellent editorial, independent editorial from SiliconANGLE and Wikibon. We'd like to go out and extract the data, share that out to the Twitter sphere, to social networks, and talk to the brightest minds, people who have a voice, who are the signal from the noise. That's our goal to share with you. I want to thank Cloudera, who's our headline sponsor this week. Obviously, they started Hadoop World. Um, now O'Reilly is taking it to the next level. Um, and Cloudera has been a very generous supporter of theCUBE, and we want to thank Cloudera. Also, MapR. MapR has been an amazing company to work with. Again, big supporters of theCUBE. They recognize our work, and we like to do it, and it costs money. We want to thank those guys, so thank them by supporting their products. Datastax, Hortonworks, Hadapt, Opera, Squirrel, Tableau, and Rainstore also contributing. want to thank them. These companies are leaders. They're supporting our mission to bring in-depth coverage to you, and I uh, want to thank them, and, and go visit them, Cloudera and MapR in particular for this event. And of course, O'Reilly Media, integrated media company that's working on stuff that matters. Want to thank those guys as well. Amazing, amazing company. So, Dave, day two. So day one, we had a whirlwind. We had great guests. We had um, the president, new president of Horton works on. We had Mike Olson, the CEO of Cloudera, who is leading the charge in this marketplace. And uh, we had a lot of other big data players out here now emerging mainstream. And, and the theme here is simply business value and analytics seems to be the hot um, topic. And it ranges uh, under the hood in a variety of different ways. Infrastructure, uh, folks who are building technology that allows to handle the massive scale of exponential data that's hitting the scene. We talked about this in our first uh, uh, Hadoop World here about data factors with Avi Mehta, who's going to be our first guest. And it's just absolutely happened. The explosion of data is happening. And there are infrastructure players building tools and technologies to handle that explosion. The second area that's being focused on here is um, compute power, making things faster. We heard from MapR, um, they're building technology to make things go faster. All that's great stuff and new techniques, real time, and getting the data to, to be crunched faster, sliced and diced with visualization, et cetera. This is, this is kind of what's happening in, in phase two. And third, the final area that we're seeing is vertical markets. Vertical markets seem to be exploding, and this is why big data is so important, because vertical markets are really where the action is, and big data affects every vertical market, from oil and gas, financial services, to the government, to every vertical has an impact of big data, and there are new applications hitting the scene using big data technology, techniques, and insights to drive new business value, and that is what the real story is here today. It's exploding to the next level. Big data is an industry. Um, it's growing faster, I believe, and more transformative than the PC revolution and the client server revolution in the computer industry combined together is happening right now. So day two, I'm going to look for some of the same themes. The platform wars, the stack integration, tools and techniques, and visualization. Again, to provide analytics and insight, making the most out of the data, understanding the data, and, and obviously producing business value. You know, John, I think that uh, CIOs out there have um, a big question on their mind, and they're asking themselves, is is my data warehouse uh, and my traditional BI approach and infrastructure, is it a dinosaur? And the answer is, in some, in some respects, yes. Uh, it's going to be around for a long, long time. It might, might not die for <laughs> decades, but all the innovation is going on elsewhere. And so we're at an inflection point, and CIOs have a decision to make. They can sit back and, and watch and, and see what happens. Um, 
uh, do nothing essentially, which is a strategy. It's just, in my opinion, not a very good one. Or they can hedge their bets. You know, they can sort of sit on the fence, and that's what many people are doing. And you're seeing, you know, a lot of you know experimentation and activity. Or you can go all in and start really looking at your application portfolio as an investment portfolio and starting allocating some investment funds toward the new growth areas, which of course is Hadoop and this big data world. And that really is where I think you're going to see a lot of the action. Our belief is that big data practitioners, the CIOs out there that are driving this, are going to create more value than the suppliers. Now of course the supplier value is going to be concentrated, but the value that's created by end users actually applying technology to create business capabilities and create business value is going to dwarf the revenue created by the supplier industry in our view. The other thing that's happening here that we're also watching is really, really important is the community of developers because what's happening is that community of developers with open source has remained and continues to grow to be the most important element of making all these solutions happen. So you're seeing 100% open source be a very big theme here in the show. Obviously Hadoop grew out of the open source movement, but big data isn't just about Hadoop, it's about applying it with other techniques, there's different kinds of databases, and again, databases are a big part of it. And what's exciting about the Strata Hadoop World Show uh, with respect to developers and the innovation is the entrepreneurial startup community is on fire with new savvy entrepreneurs, not young kids coming out of college, but experienced entrepreneurs who are coming in and building real value. That is completely validated by the big guys, the big companies, IBM, HP, and others, who have shown through their positioning that they are accepting big data. We were just at the IBM Information On Demand show, their big big show in their, in their company, their biggest show in their company, uh, just earlier in the week in Vegas. And IBM absolutely put an exclamation point on the fact that they are moving into the big data space. And they're agnostic. They don't really care where the innovation comes from. They're going to layer on top of it and provide the big data solutions to their customer base. So this produces an, an interesting dynamic, Dave, in the ecosystem because that means that startups actually have a chance not only to leverage the big guys' sales channels and relationships, but also for M&A opportunities. And that really is a big deal because that produces liquidity and that produces wealth and that creates value. So to me, the startup community right now is really hot for those following reasons. Massive disruption, massive market growth, also the big guys have an appetite for business deals and also M&A. So John, um, I'm excited to be here and uh, this is a big data week. As you said, we were at the uh, IBM IOD event. Uh, quite different, you know, the IBM <laughs> IOD, very buttoned <laughs> down and a lot of suits, very concentrated on the IBM portfolio. And here it's just this, you know, diffuse uh, set of innovation, uh, a lot of smaller players uh, coming together in an ecosystem to really try to change the world. And, uh, and so, again, the Cube is here. This is our third he year here at Hadoop World, which is now called Strata Plus Hadoop World. And uh, Okay, so we are going to get right into the action. We've got a long, busy day. We have a lot of guests uh, lined up. We have Amar Awadala from Cloudera, a slew of other great guests, uh, and obviously Albi Meta is coming on next. And again, I want to shout out to Cloudera and Matt Barr for being top sponsors, Cloudera is our headline sponsor. The, they are the big data platform. They rolled out a new logo, new positioning. They want the big data platform to be Cloudera. Again, they're 100% open source as well and sell a premium a premium product, uh, premium product, um, at free and premium to enterprises for support and extra services. So Cloudera continue to lead the charge. Obviously MapR, a performance-based product. I want to thank them as well and uh, Datastacks, Hortonworks, Hadapt, and others. So thanks for supporting us, support our sponsors because they support us and we want to support them. So you can do your part by supporting them. So we'll be right back with our first guest right after this short break. We looked at all the programs out there and identified a gap in tech news coverage. Those shows are just the tip of the iceberg and we're here for the deep dive. The market begged for our program to fill that void. We're not just touting off headlines. We also want to analyze the big picture and ask the questions that no one else is asking. We work with analysts who know the industry from the inside out. So what do you think was the source of this mission? So you mentioned briefly uh, there are... If that's the case, then why does the world need another software? We're creating server? a fundamental change in news coverage, laying the foundation and setting the standard. And this is just the beginning. Ten years ago, the video news business 